Greetings everyone, I am Hemali Ratnayak presenting you my team's sustainability project. We are entering into a new era of manufacturing where high value goods are produced in space for customers on earth. Likewise, imagine how microbial production of biopolymers in space could revolutionize biopolymer market on earth. Towards this vision, my team proposes in space microbial production of nanocellulose hydrogels. We are motivated to do this research in space flight because ISS research platform is a one-of-a-kind laboratory for the scientific discovery on microbial research. It could serve as a technology platform to design and create a living foundry for manufacturing biopolymers. Therefore, we propose investigating microgravity-induced microbial production of nanocellulose hydrogels in LEO platform and utilize LEO as an incubator for developing biopolymer manufacturing technology. Our project outcomes will create research achievements that benefit the economic development on Earth. For instance, our research product will create economic opportunity for the global plastic market and will impact on improving the quality of life on Earth. Conducting our research on ISS platform will advance our knowledge on bacterial nanocellulose formation that could lead to new scientific breakthroughs. We hypothesize that the microgravity environment at ISS will accelerate gluconoacidobacter hensonized metabolic activity, enabling scalable production of nanocellulose hydrogels with high production efficiency. Our rationale for utilizing the ISS is the persistent microgravity, which has shown to be alter microbial activity. With additional space flight opportunities, our long-term goal is to create an investment-worthy biopolymer manufacturing market on Earth by harnessing microbial activity in LEO incubator. Through lab-to-market translational research effort, we will address reducing virgin plastic production and plastic waste introduction. Our tentative timeline for the proposed project will be from 2022 to 2026. We will utilize the LEO platform to advance our lab research to the translational research and development stage by 2024. Then through follow on to additional flight opportunities and ground-based activities, we anticipate reaching go-to-market by 2026. During our four weeks first flight opportunity, we will prove our hypothesis by conducting three aims. We will target three sets of in-orbit experiments up to four weeks under three variable gravity conditions. For our in-orbit facility and hardware need, BioServe will serve as our implementation partner. In our go-to-market plan, we will focus mainly raising the technology readiness level by completing translational research phase, commercialization phase, and finally commercial opening of the technology to the market. With the successful completion of first flight, we anticipate increased microbial activity yielding high production rate of nanocellulose hydrogels. Our expected product will be tunable nanocellulose hydrogels and biocomposites. Our project will yield the scientific discovery of an innovative biotechnology process for sustainable biopolymer manufacturing on Earth. It will have a direct economic benefit on the global plastic market, which is worth 434 billion US dollars. Imagine if we only target biodegradable plastic market as our serviceable obtainable market, our expected annual revenue generation could reach to 1.2 billion within five years of commercialization. Our budget estimate for the first flight is 350K US dollars and total project cost is 430K US dollars. We anticipate launching our first flight experiment in fiscal year 2023. With that, I would like to end my fish presentation. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.